Hello everyone, today we have a review of quite outdated laptop or netbook or tablet or transformer book, you can call it whatever you want, from Asus and this uh, netbook or tablet with a keyboard was released in 2013, which is 10, even 11 years ago, now it's 2024, so let's check it out whether it's still worth to buy and just to start with you can buy this tablet AK laptop for around 60 bucks, used one of course, but 60 dollars, you've got Windows 10, it's really portable, I don't know, I think it's a good offer, but let's review it first. Alright, so by default you've got this uh, two two parts here is a keyboard so let's review it separately it's just regular keyboard uh, depends on your region touchpad is here with two buttons and also one usb is here on the keyboard uh, actually windows 8 logo that's it the keyboard is quite high quality and after 11 years still working perfectly and you have similar to netbook uh, or laptop uh, stickers here and actually no any problems with this keyboard after years. Also, you have some options with 500 gigabytes SSD installed here or EMMS, not this is D, I guess, not enough space, installed inside this keyboard. And when you connect it, you use it as an external uh, storage, which is also quite nice option to have. And here you have such connector from Asus. It's not a Bluetooth, you don't need to charge it and it's not consuming the energy. So it's pretty much simple. Then you connect it and use it as a regular tablet. And it's actually quite convenient that keyboard has some gap here, as you see when you open it up. So it's really convenient to use it. Uh, when you close it, it's really thin and portable netbook, I guess, uh, or tablet. And actually, uh, the weight is around one kilogram, which is also a relatively compact. Of course, you can buy the laptops right now bigger, but this is also a tablet. All right, so let's uh, review the main part here is the tablet part, it's touch screen. Of course, the quality is not good, it's 120, uh, 1280 uh, multiplied by 816.9 resolution and 10.1 inch here. So 10.1 is regular tablet and also you have some gap between your uh, touch sensor and your screen. Actually, this is quite outdated technology and also I don't know whether you see it, you have some dust between the glass and your screen. Uh, the processor is Intel Atom. Uh, Z3740, 1.33 gigahertz, also supports some turbo mode, four cores, actually quite outdated of course, but still fine. On the back you've got plastic, Asus logo on it, turn on, turn off button here, also indicator of charging, I don't know what this, maybe microphone, uh, you have webcam from the front one for video calls and I guess some sensors, but I don't see them, maybe no sensors. Uh, from left or from right side, you have micro SD slot, so you can insert SIM card. I guess it actually can support easily 256 gigabytes, maybe even 500 gigabytes, but I don't know, but 200 definitely supported. Micro HDMI here or mini HDMI and micro USB for charging, 3.5 jack for uh, headphones or microphone. From the left side, you have volume control and one additional button. I don't know what function is perform. Actually, it's Windows button. <laughs> nice, uh, very useless button. Uh, and from the bottom, you've got the connector, special connector from Asus and to make it reliable, two more uh, additional metal frames. And battery inside is quite reliable, I have to up to 10 hours, also you've got two gigabytes of RAM, I guess this is one of the main disadvantages, two gigabytes in 2024 is not really much and on Windows 10 especially of 64 gigabytes internal eMMC memory, which is quite fine, I guess, even for now, you've got many tablets with 64 gigabytes. 
and if you open yeah touch screen working okay <laughs> freeze but I launched the update so I guess that's why it can freeze for now a bit when update is over it will be faster but let's open it I will show you without updates later so 57 gigabytes available 14.3 gigabytes is free and if I clean and remove some useless apps it will be even more and also some movies here so actually it's not bad I guess for this sort of laptop you have 2 gigabytes of RAM uh, Atom processor as I mentioned 32 gigahertz uh, 32 bits of the system actually this is pretty much it what you need to know uh, Windows 10 still updating of course no Windows 11 here available uh, let's click on updates currently oh shit uh, updates is ongoing why make it so big how to move it back let's connect the keyboard oh, er, keyboard connected then I can move it back disconnect the keyboard very convenient so as you see updates are ongoing currently we'll have the latest version with all the updates of Windows 10 which is also quite nice the battery life I don't know whether it will show what's the battery remaining 22 hours it's showing in this power saving mode okay it's actually 12 13 hours can you imagine that 11 years old tablet on Windows can uh, move on for even 10 hours of course 22 hours I don't believe and you shouldn't believe it's original uh, battery here installed and it's still working pretty well so actually let's try it out let's open Chrome browser of course maybe Edge browser or some other will be faster as Chrome consuming uh, a lot of resources but still it's opening which is also quite nice let's just click something on Google let's Google on Google keyboard should be open you see this is how the Windows keyboard looks like let's Google and Google actually it works pretty fast I can say maybe not that fast as a new laptops or Windows uh, phones but still loading well you can open your computer even now with updates uh, for, with two gigabytes of RAM let's open the resource management I think it sees opening <laughs> uh, let's check this out the processor is actually 1.86 gigahertz using now 32 percent the memory even you have some six gigabyte uh, 600 megabytes of free memory I think it's using a lot of uh, built-in memory as uh, RAM SD that's Honix pre-installed here Wi-Fi connector ABGN I don't know ah, actually it supports five uh, five gigahertz Wi-Fi which is also quite nice should support let's check whether it's connected to this one yeah 5G supporting so pretty much uh, pretty good for this laptop or oh, the memory yes yeah, that's the disadvantage of RAM but this RAM can be uh, used uh, from your building memory especially I do not recommend to buy 32 gigabytes version as first of all you cannot uh, use that much memory for your RAM secondly the Windows uh, currently the weight of Windows 10 is actually 20 plus gigabytes so uh, from 32 gigabytes you will have maybe 29 and minus Windows minus at least two gigabytes of RAM so you're fully out of memory you have no memory for movies no memory for your apps so it become really useless even no memory for cache for browsing that's why I recommend to buy only 64 uh, gigabytes when you have 64 gigabytes uh, 58 is available and with your with my apps with Windows pre-installed six gigabytes using for as a RAM you have 15 gigabytes free memory which is quite good actually for this one and uh, what else uh, sound of course you have built-in speakers which are located where is allocated somewhere in the back as I remember 
yeah here one speaker second speaker they are not that loud actually but it's enough for movies if you listen at home so for watching movies for browsing for even a powerpoint word excel actually it should work if you download it and activate it but mine is not active so i need to insert a new key but not now of course maybe we'll do it later new documents not active okay as you see working for studying like you can type I don't know because of activation maybe it doesn't work very strange let's change the language okay it's actually it's blocked <laughs> yeah it's blocked due to the thing that uh, yeah because it's not activated but actually it's quite convenient to use it with your fingers you can type whatever you want you can select some text here you can use all the settings uh, very convenient here and 10 inches is actually enough for word file and for this type of usage so actually in 2024 i can still can recommend this really nice device you can use it as your like, home machine you can use it for uh, excel word for browsing as well watching the videos for study for watching movies it's really portable it's one kilogram only and you can uh, carry it with you all the time also the battery life is still insane it's 10 hours and the price of course is only 60 bucks for used uh, windows tablet plus laptop so i guess it's really nice device that you can use and it's combining itself tablet laptop and on everything is working on windows also i have this case like smart case so if you want to use it as a tablet you can just put it up on your uh, screen this case and it's actually a magnet built in when you close it uh, your tablet will be locked also quite convenient to have and in general only things that i would recommend to you is only search for 64 gigabytes uh, RAM, uh, for 64 gigabytes built-in memory option because 32 gigabytes is nothing using also you can insert sd card but with 32 anyway you need a bit more space uh, for using this laptop so i would suggest not to use this option and only use the 64 option available 64 gigabytes option and maybe micro sd cards uh, 128 gigabytes and then you will have enough for movies you'll have enough space for everything plus you will have enough ram memory because you can use your uh, expanded memory uh, from your built-in memory so 64 gigabytes 60 bucks in 2024 windows 10 the latest updates available license windows of course it's a really good option so i really recommend to buy it still used one and if you have it you can list in the comments below how what else functions or how you use this tablet or laptop put a thumbs up and see you next time